all right hey what is going on everybody it's boy cjd brings another video and today i'm bringing a video we are going to be comparing two weapons in another episode of versus first off we have the repost with dynamic sway reductions and moment uh high caliber rounds we have 46 range 69 stability 65 handling 51 reload there's the aim assist 52 rounds in the mag 66 recoil direction this is a 720 round per minute auto rifle that you get from competitive PvP. As you complete your placement series matches, you will get one, and then you'll get one every time you complete three matches per week. Maximum of three for one for each character. This weapon will be compared against another 720 auto rifle that I very much enjoy using as well. This one being crafted, and that's why I also have the repulsed fully enhanced we have a veiled threat with to the pain encore accurized rounds corkscrew rifling 45 recoil direction 59 rounds in the mag 52 59 49 51 and then with the aim assist we'll be taking a look at these two weapons breaking it down into five categories i decided to shorten the categories a little bit mainly because i felt like seven was a little much so we're going to simplify it a little bit that way, I'm not kind of trying to stretch myself thin and pull things out of air. So what we are going to be comparing are the stats, the perk pool, uh, pairings, or what I like to say, really, it's weapon slot. These two have different weapon slots. So really, I want to look at and see what can we match with this weapon to complement it the best. Uh, acquisition, so how easily accessible it is is it craftable that kind of stuff and then it's origin now for origin i know it sounds similar to what i just said with ac acquisition but if you're newer to the game or if you haven't been with the game for a while i am looking at the origin trait so each weapon has its own specific origin trait that gives its own specific benefits so let's go ahead and break it down we will start with the statistics. Looking at both of them, really, I see the repost, 71 stability, phenomenal. The recoil direction is a little bit to the left, but honestly, I feel like it's very manageable. You have 65 handling, 53 reload. Also, by the way, you might be hearing my dog here now. Uh, she decided to get a little close to the microphone. 52 rounds in the mag. So, Veiled Threat has more range has a little bit more vertical of recoil direction and it has a little bit better of a magazine but what i'm seeing with veil threat is it's got much less stability less handling and a little bit less reload and for me i just feel like having veil threat have a little bit less for those couple statistical categories yes it's more balanced but I feel like there's more benefit from using the repost. So I'm willing to sacrifice a little bit of that range to have a little bit smoother stability, having a little bit smoother handling, being able to go in and out of ADS quicker, and that little bit extra reload. So for that, I'm going to give it to the repost. I think it just edges it out a little bit. Moving on to acquisition. Acquisition, I feel like... Veiled Threat has this one by a mile. Um, looking at this weapon compared to Repost, Repost you can only get once a week per character. So if you have three characters, you can get three a week. And just being able to get that God Roll is much more difficult than being, being able to get one for Veiled Threat. Also, one other benefit is that this is craftable. So once you get enough for the patterns, you don't have to worry about farming it. You can just go make whichever one you want. And you can alter it however you want. So I feel like in terms of acquisition-wise and obtain, uh, just obtaining the weapon, I feel like Veiled Threat is going to be your better option for that. Perk Pool. So let's take a look at our Perk Pool here. The Repost has perks like Encore, To the Pain, Kill Clip, uh, Killing Wind. I'm not listing them in any specific column here. I'm just kind of reading off some of the different perks it comes with but we have like tap the trigger ends in moment among a few others 
Now, it looks like Velvet Threat has a little bit more to offer for its pool. Uh, surrounded, Encore to the Pain, Attrition Orbs, Fragile Focus, uh, Headstone, Gut Shot Straight, Moving Target among those ones. Um, one thing I'm looking at is this one doesn't even come with high caliber rounds. It doesn't come with a lot of the good PvP perks that I look for, and we are comparing this in PvP. So personally, I'm going to have to give it to the Repost. Uh, I really do enjoy the perks that I have on it right now with the Zen Moment Dynamic Sway. I think it feels really smooth when you lock onto a target. Even then, I think if you, if you have Killing Wind Dynamic Sway, or something like Tap the Trigger Kill Clip, or even Zen Moment Kill Clip, there are a lot of good options for PvP, and I feel like there's more variety for PvP than you would see with a Veil Threat. Moving on to the Origin Trait. Personally, with the Origin Trait, I think Veil Threat has it by a mile again. So, the categories that I think Veil Threat is good in, it's really because the Repost doesn't really have an Origin Trait. It has different available stocks that you can pick from in its fifth column so really you can get increased handling you can get increased uh, stability um, fitted which does stability and recoil and then you have stability and handling but veil threat actually has a origin trait to where if you get multiple kills then it creates a radial area uh, pool that i believe does damage so, I just think origin trait wise, Veil Threat actually has one compared to Veil uh, compared to the Repost. But then again, that's also why the Repost gets that edge in the stats because instead of that origin trait, you get a weapon that has the increased statistics. So with that, down to the last category, pairings and slot. What I'm looking for here is, what can I pair with this in PvP? Do I prefer using secondary energy or secondary kinetic? Personally, I feel like a lot of the really good secondary weapons that you have in the game come from the kinetic slot. So with that, I'm going to give this to the Repost. I just feel like overall, there's more that I can use, whether it be like a Heritage or a lightweight frame shotgun. I know um, Iron Banner has a couple that were really good. I have Deliverance. There are some snipers. Personally, I like a lot of the pairings that you can use with that kinetic slot. So, three to two, I think the Repost is a little bit better. Now, don't get me wrong. Both these weapons are phenomenal. I highly recommend trying them out. But for me, I think the Repost is going to be the better option in the long run for PvP. So with that, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new. I'll see you next time.